Okay, guys, today we're going to do line segments and congruence. So we will actually be doing a little bit of math today. So for starters, let's look at segment addition postulate. Okay, the segment addition postulate states that if B is between A and C, so between, then AB, so this piece plus this piece equals the whole piece. So in other words, AB plus BC equals AC. Then B is between A and C. So make sure you write this down. Being between does not mean in the middle. In the middle means even on both sides. It's not even. Okay. So here we go. Given, so if they give you a segment, um, they give you a statement. Point K is between J and L. So then you would draw segment JL and you would put point K in between. The conclusion would be that JK, this piece, plus KL, this piece, equals JL, the whole piece. Okay, so that is the conclusion that you're going to need to make sure that you can make each time. And I'm going to ask you for that on your paper, okay? So let's look at the first example. It says, if RS is 2X and ST is 5 and RT is 31, find RS. Well, in order to find RS, which would be this piece here, I need to find X. So the first thing I would say is RS plus ST equals RT, the whole thing. So then I would label my picture, RS is 2X, so this piece is 2X, ST is 5, and they're not always drawn to scale, which means they're not always going to be drawn to look like their measurements. Then it says RT is 31. Well, RT is the whole thing, so I'm going to do little funky arrows here, 31. So that means RS is 2X plus ST is 5 equals RT, the whole thing, is 31. So now I just solve for x like I would any other time. So if you have your line through here, so I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. And I bring down what's left. 2x equals 26. And then divide by 2. Cancels out. x equals. Divide by 2 over here. 26 divided by 2 is 13. So I know that x is 13. But they're not asking for x. They're asking for rs. So if rs is equal to 2x, and x is 13, then 2 times 13 is 26, therefore rs is 26. Okay, next. If point E, F, and G are collinear, so remember what that means, collinear. Collinear means they're all on the same line. So if you have a picture, oops, if you have a picture of a line, and you're going to put three points, E, F, and G, because they're collinear, okay? F is between E and G, so that means E and G are on the end, and F is just somewhere in between. So it says E, F is 4X minus 20, so I'd go over here, 4X minus 20. So E, F is 4X minus 20. F, G is 2X plus 30. EG is the whole thing, so the whole thing is 100. You're going to find the value of FG. So remember, FG is 2x plus 30. So I need to find x to plug it in to find the actual value. So I know that EF plus FG equals EG. So now I'm just going to plug in these values here. EF is 4x minus 20 plus FG is 2X plus 30 equals the whole thing is 100. So now I'm just going to solve for X. So I'm going to combine my like terms, 2X and 4X, so that's going to be 6X. Then I've got negative 20 plus 30, so that really just means 30 minus 20, which is 10, equals 100. So now subtract 10 from both sides. So that means 6X equals 90. Divide both sides by 6, so x is 15. So since x is 15, then I can go up here and plug it in. 2 times 15 plus 30, that's 30 plus 30, which is 60. So that means fg is 
60. So if this piece, FG right here, if this piece is 60, that means this piece has to be 40 because together they have to add up to 100. Okay, number three. Oh, actually, definitions. Okay, we got two more definitions here. We've got unequal segments and equal segments, okay? Um, we're going to make sure that we understand that when you are Okay, make this box go away. Okay, when you see this symbol right here, that means congruent. So same thing is equal, except it has a squiggly, and we'll go into the importance of that squiggly later. So if you have two unequal segments, then they're going to have different tick marks. So they're not going to match. So here I would say that AM is not congruent to MB because they have different tick marks. In this scenario over here, I would say AM is congruent to MB because they have matching tick marks, okay? Therefore, since these two pieces are equal to each other, that makes M a midpoint, okay? So if M is a midpoint, this is always going to be true, okay? AM will always be congruent to MB if it's in the middle. And a segment bisector goes through the midpoint, okay? So QN is still equal to NR, so I would say QN is congruent to NR in this scenario because it's being bisected through the midpoint. So now looking at that concept, we're going to use point M as a midpoint. So they've given me this segment here. They've given me segment XY, and this is actually a typo, so we're going we're gonna to work through this one together. Okay, so point U, if it is a midpoint, goes in the middle, and I put matching tick marks to clarify that. They're telling me that XY, which is the whole thing, is 28. And they're telling me that UI, which is this piece, is 2X. Well, if the whole thing is 28 and I cut it in half, then 28 divided by 2 is 14. So that means this piece is 14. Well, if this is a midpoint, then that means this is equal to this. So I would say, well, 2x is equal to 14, therefore, x is 7. So x is 7. So that means that xu is 14 and uy is also 14. Okay, so don't worry about this because they gave us that in the story. Okay, All right, number four. If I is the midpoint of WN, so think about what that looks like. I is the midpoint of WN, so you're going to have segment WN. So let me draw segment WN. I know I'm cheating. So WN, and if you all see how horrible I write, you see why I cheat. Okay, so I is the midpoint because it says I is the midpoint, so I need to put I in the middle. That means WI is congruent to IN. Okay, so if WI is 4Y minus 8, so 4Y minus 8, and WN, which is the whole thing, is 7Y minus 3, they want me to find this piece. Well, what do I know about this piece? I know that it's equal to this piece. So since they didn't tell me what it was equal to, then I'm going to share this label with the side because they are equal. Now, I know from the previous part of the notes that if I add these two pieces together, they're going to equal the whole thing. So if you think about WI plus IIN, holy moly, equals WN. So WI would be 4Y minus 8 plus IN is also 4Y minus 8 equals the whole thing, which is 7Y minus 3. So now I can just combine my like terms and add it together. So 4y plus 4y is 8y. Negative 8 plus negative 8 is negative 16 equals 7y minus 3. So now I'm going to subtract 7y from both sides. So I get y minus 16 is equal to negative 3 because that canceled out. And then I'm going to add the 16 to both sides. So now I know that y is equal to 13. So if y is 13, then I know in is going to be 4y minus 8, but y is 13. 
So 4 times 13 minus 8. So that's 52 minus 8. And 52 minus 8 is 44. So IN is 44. So if this piece is 44, so is this one, because they have same tick marks, which means the whole thing is going to be 88. All right, last one. Okay, line T is a segment bisector. If it's a segment bisector, that means it goes through point M, which is the midpoint, which means this piece is equal to this piece. So if XM is equal to MY, and XM is 3X plus 6, and MY is 2X plus 14, then I'm just going to plug these in. So I've got 3X plus 6 equal to 2x plus 14, and then I'm just going to work out my algebra just like I did in all that algebra review we did. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So I get x plus 6 is equal to 14, and I'm going to subtract 6. So x is 8. So now that I know that x is 8, if xm is 3x plus 6, and that means 3 times 8 plus 6, 24 plus 6, which is 30. So XM is 30. Well, if XM is 30, so is MY, because remember, M is a midpoint. So that means the whole thing, XY, is 60. Okay, so you have three scenarios, and you just write this at the bottom. You're either going to add two pieces together, or you're going to set them equal if it's a midpoint. So this is segment addition, and this is when you have a midpoint. So those are your two options, okay? And depending on what information is given will depend on which one you're going to use. See you later.